So hello and welcome to another video from sickmaths.co.uk where you can find lots of GCSE and A-level maths videos all for free. Um, this video is about simplifying expressions. So this is a really easy video. Expressions are just bits of algebra, right? They're like equations except for an expression doesn't have an equals in it. Yeah, equations have equals in it. You might see an equals here, but that's because these are two different expressions. Uh, one is a simplified version of the other, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to be simplifying, which basically means making it shorter. Okay, so if I've got a couple of x's and a couple of y's, okay, how many x's do I have here? I've got got two x's and I've got six x's so basically I've got eight x's all together because two plus six is eight and how many y's do I have? I've got five y's there and got minus y there so five y minus one y is equal to four y so that's just simplified you know that's the long version that's the simple short version okay let's talk about something else we've got x squared and x's they're different things as well so you can't combine an x squared with an x um, so you've got 3x squared here and you've got minus 2x squared there so you've got 3 minus 2x squared 3 minus 2 is 1 so you've got 1x squared and so instead of writing 1x squared I just write x squared because typically when you've got 1 of something in algebra you just write, say I've got 1y just write y straight away so I've got 1x squared so just write just x squared and um, uh, I've got four x's here and I've got three x's there so altogether I've got seven x's so altogether I've got x squared plus seven x's that's the short version of this the simplified version of this long thing here now another idea I have to show you um, if you've got a times b that's the same as b times a because when you times in a different order you get the same answer for example 3 times 4 is equal to 12 and 4 times 3 is equal to 12 so those are two numbers of times in different order and you got the same answer 12 each time so if you got two letters and you times them together in a different order um, you get the same answer so basically I'm saying a b and b are b a are the same thing so I've got an a b here and I've got a b a there and I've got an a, B there. So basically I've got lots of A, B's here. I'll treat that as an A, B. Okay? So I've got two A, B's plus four A, B's. Take away an A, B. So I've got two plus four is one. Take away one A, B. Going back down to five A, B's. Now I could have said they're all... I could have said five B, A's at the end. Right? But normally what happens is we like to say the letters in the order if we have a choice. So we... It's prefer, preferable to say A before B uh, when you're timing all the letters together. Together, but it doesn't really make that much difference. It's just the standard way to do things. So I've got five A Bs and I've got a couple of A's as well. Yeah, which is different to A Bs because A Bs is one thing and an A is something else. Yeah, just like X squared is one thing and an X is something else. Okay, so I've got eight A's there and I've got minus two A's there. So all together I've got six A's because eight minus two is six. Now one more example, uh, I've got brackets in this example, so uh, multiplying out brackets comes from another video, but yeah, it's so simple, I'll just go and explain it now. Uh, when you multiply brackets, you do the outside number times by each of the things inside, so 2 times x plus 4 uh, is the same as 2 times x, which is 2x, and 2 times 4, which is 8. So I multiply out the bracket, but then I've got this minus 3, which is outside the bracket, which I just copied down over here, which is still minus 3. So now I simplify this. I've got 2x and no other x's, so that's just 2x. And I've got 8 minus 3, which is 5. So that's it, really. Simplifying numbers is just normal, you know, just numbers. These are my numbers, and they simplify to that. And